Summer. Those magical months. Under the hot sun, awash in a haze of hormones. Youth blooms but once. A glorious ephemeral flower. Here, on the glistening shore of adulthood, twelve behorned space tweens would laugh, love, and learn a little bit about life. This would be their summer. This would be their summer teen romance. What did I just read? The stirring opening lines of my coming-of-age romantic dramedy screenplay? I feel like maybe that was pretty fucking obvious, Dave. No, I mean, why are all the characters real people? I mean, trolls. Carcat, are you writing fan fiction about your friends going through puberty? No, you weird pervert. This is an AU. Or alternate universe. Wherein the other trolls and I attend a life-changing summer camp on the fragile precipice of our troll adolescence. Please, continue. Carcat with characteristic charm. Camp Escrub, huh? I'm sure it'll be lots of fun. That is, so long as my friends are by my side. Well said, Carcat. You're strong and our leader. I can vouch for the fun we will have here. It's not my first time at the rodeo. Hold up. I thought this was a summer camp. Blah, blah, fish puns, etc., etc., whatever. Dave! <laughs> Ah, this place is a dump. I think I brought my smartphone. It looks good to me. Dave! You can't just skip lines like that, Dave. My screenplay is a delicate machine, and every sentence is essential. You just ruined Nepeta's entire character arc, you piece of human trash. Man, I could have sworn my class was night. But I mean, here you are thinking I'm made of time. I'm a busy dude, Garcat, so excuse me if I skip some fringe troll dialogue. You'll just have to wow me with the parts I decide to care about. That's Hollywood, kid. <gasps> Do you know how long it took to translate this script from Alternian into human English? But... you speak English. And type in English. Right? Do you know how long it took to convert this script from all caps into only capitals at the beginning of sentences? Dude. That's not all! The version of the script you're holding has been painstakingly adapted for human audiences. Like, 90% of the references to troll culture have been replaced with human bullshit. I had to slog through hundreds of hours of terrible Earth movies for this, Dave. So maybe don't act like the two seconds it takes to read one line are a huge fucking chore. Sigh. Don't you literally say the word sigh at me, Dave. Don't you do that. I'm too high in the blood cast. We're wealthy for this place. But what was my Lucis dad thinking sending me here? Somehow, despite being a literal seahorse. This dump's got nothing on my Iowa log cabin. Dibs on the deepest recuperacoon. Top bunk. Wow, I'm so troll excited. I can't troll wait to see with my troll eyes what activities we will do troll first. Very funny, Dave. Just real hilarious. I'm an alien. Excuse me, honorable high blood member of the 1%. Would you allow me the honor of sharing your bunk? I will peel the flesh from your bones as my right by blood. Every second of breath you draw is a gift I have given you. Sure, bro. Damn, dude, you weren't kidding about this adaptation shit. You can stop reading the revisions aloud now. Excellent. I will assume my rightful position. Beneath you. Phrasing. Okay, Terezi. What say we roll dice to see which Scourge sister gets the top bunk first? <gasps> hey, Friskers! What's the big idea? Cats sleep on the floor, right? Uh, I think actually cats will sleep on beds. Or, um, pretty much anywhere, really. Yeah. Shut the fuck up, Tavros. I was here first. 
You should get your own bunk. Yeah? Who's gonna make me? Uh, um... <laughs> Who, Equus? <laughs> he seems a little preoccupied right now. <laughs> so what are you gonna do about Guys. it? Guys! Stop fighting! There's room for you under me, Nepeta. Phrasing, but frankly, that one was easily avoidable. Hmm. What? Hey, Bros. Welcome to Camp Scrub. My name is Bro Strider, but you can call me Bro. This here's Big Cal. He's my right hand, Bro. <laughs> Bullshit! I'm the real one in charge here. You work for me. <laughs> you scamp. Uh, no, but seriously, he does own a controlling interest in this camp. We're going to be murdered in our sleep. What the hell, Carcat? That is not how my bro talks. His name isn't Bro, and he doesn't say Bro all the time. He's not a fucking Pokemon. Also, he's cool as shit and not terrible at ventriloquism. Those two things are mutually exclusive, Dave. Look, just stop yelling, okay? It's obnoxious. Oh, sure! What did I just say? Hey, this is an alternate universe, remember? I can write the characters however I want. Maybe just be happy your stupid bro has a role in my opus in the first place. <gasps> Gasp! Oh, I see how it is. I don't get control over any universe I make, huh? Not even if it's fucking imaginary. First, you spoil 600 hours of hard work by sending a genocidal godhound my way through a rift in space-time. And now, you're ruining another 600 by demanding I respectfully portray your deceased brother. I mean, what the fuck? Hey man, I thought we decided that jack shit was your fault. Well said, Dave, I agree. Capital J, smartass. Fine, whatever. It was Casualty's fault, okay? I'm blameless, and you couldn't not be bad at frogs because alpha timelines. Can we just agree that Paradox Space sucks and be done with it? And make this panel exploitable? Hell no. Uh... Cal is not a goddamn hand puppet. And he's little. I'll be your counselor here at Camp Scrub. Nice to meet you, little bros. We've met before, actually. Oh, hey. So we have. Welcome back to Camp Kanaya. <laughs> Radical. Didn't think we'd have any returning bros after last year's... incident. I thought I told you to keep your big mouth shut about that. My... big mouth? Shut up! It's a figure of speech! I hate you! If even one camper gets scared off this year, we'll have to... I know. I know, I'm sorry. Uh, uh... This is the part where the door closes and locks behind us. But enough about the bad things that definitely won't happen to you. Let's hit the artificial lakeside beach! Yeah! yeah! Huge beach. Genuine de-stress. Damn it, Dave. None of that was supposed to be a montage. There was essential dialogue in those scenes. It's called live editing. I just improved your script in real time. You're welcome. Well, Kanaya, you weren't squinting about Camp Scrub. It's really fun. Isn't it, though? No. And the camp counselor is a total dreamboat. What? Does dreamboat even count as a fish pun? The puppet thing's a little weird, I guess. It seems to me boats are only tangentially related to fish. This is delicious. I mean, uh, hmm. This is delicious. Mm -hmm. Wow, he's good, though. I haven't seen his mouth move at all. Well, yeah. Just bury me. Just bury my whole face. 
that, hey, what was all that about an incident last summer? Someone d d d d d d died? What? No, I didn't say that. It happened off panel. You can't prove that I said that. Oh my god! Someone really gloving died here last summer? Yeah, of boredom. LMFAO. Uh... How does one even move one's pinky like that? Um, I mean, yes. Tie dyed, uh, shirt. Arts and crafts. How could that qualify as an incident? It was a really good shirt. Flashbang! And then I said, Color? I barely even know her. <laughs> <laughs> what a humorous anecdote. Take me now. Well, well, well. What do we have here? <laughs> Looks like Camp Escrub attracted a bumper crop of its particular specialty this year. He, he, bumper crap. Titular El Mayo. Great burn, friend. I will sue you for this, car cat. I am going to get legal on your ass. There will be motions and debriefings and punitive action. Will there? Good God, Dave. Phrasing. Shut the fuck up. You have no case. This is my original character, Dave Slider, and his friends Sweet Jeff, Hella Bro, and Jeremy. I'm fucking untouchable. Fuck you, dude. It's not a new character if all you do is add a mustache or change a G to a J. How did you know I did that from me just saying the name out loud? Don't be meta, you sponge. Uh, it's in the script, fucker. Who's meta now? Fuck you. Fuck you. Hey, yo, Jeremy. Lay down a sick beat for me. You've got it, pal. Camp S. Scrub on the out. Here's the camp suburbs truth. I'm the lake's real daddy and here's my proof. Not a sheep like me, deep like me. And when the tide rises, slow creep like me. Makes waves like me. Neat flave like me. Hides secret treasure. That you know, that you crave like me. I got a lot in common with this body of water. Soul's custody is mine because I am its father. Oh. Slam poetry. Secret treasure? Waves and tides? Nice try, Spurbs, but you won't get the lake that easily. We did DNA tests last year, remember? And proved you could not sire a lake. Who are these douchebags? Camp Spurb. A rival camp from across the lake. These unhappy campers have been trying to close Camp Scrub and have the lake all to themselves for years. And we would have gotten away with it too if it weren't for you meddling trolls. But man, look at all these newsers though. Fucking little bighorn over here. Fucking flustered's last stand. Some hipster. Got some background against. Suck my dick. Some babe who's way out of my league. Some cool guy. Much more suitable boyfriend material. For her. Must be Sunday, cause here's Garfield and fucking abnormal. Fucking odor the dog. Go fetch some soap. Ha <laughs> ha! Say that again to my face. P -p Please, actually say that again. Heh, <laughs> and then we got fucking Digit Destined over here, and. Whisper. Whisper. Hey, bro. Nice gills. Huh? Y you too. Huh? But what's this? Somebody's missing. What was her name again? Arabia? Mm. Don't get me wrong, Twilight. You got Camp Pride. But that chick's escrub rep was on another level. I wonder if you'll be able to stop our plans this year without her leading the charge. Uh, I... <laughs> hey, bros. Let's all try and get along, okay? There's enough lake for every Brody, right? <laughs> Okay, camp counselor. Who do you think you are, my dad, bro? 
I'll do whatever I want to do. B -b -b Big cow. It's the puppet. I remember it. The taste of your flesh. Not ever again, dude. Jeepers, let's ski paddle, gang. If it weren't for that puppet, this isn't over, got it? Once Camp Scrub is ours, you trolls are gonna pay! D don't worry, little bros. We wouldn't sell them the camp, even if they offered us a bro million dollars. Now, who wants to learn how to light wood on fire? Ooh, ooh, me! I do! So hey, just out of innocent curiosity, what's the deal with that secret treasure those spurbs referenced? Oh word. Yeah, that's just a myth, bro. According to legend, a tribe of bloodthirsty lake pirates hid their vast wealth in a map to its location in the lake and surrounding woods respectively. Is that who the lake is named after? The tribe? Hmm? Oh, no. The lake's name comes from Ghostbusters. The 1984 film, Ghostbusters. Uh... Um, but it's all just a myth. Some of that info's probably wrong, bro. Also, the woods are supposed to be guarded by a bro-thirsty monster, so... Look, even if there were a treasure, if Camp Spurb found it, they'd have to split it with us, because we share the land. So, just let them take the risk, okay? Loose lips, pink slips, Strider! Don't worry, boss. I'll keep my eyes on them this time for sure. If I lick this dude's face clean, would it ruin the prank? You know, it might actually improve it. I would reiterate that we should follow our counselor's example and be in bed and sleeping. Uh, but he's in my bed. I am pretty sure having fun without adult supervision makes one a delinquent. Maybe I should shuffle from now on. I thought you said having strong hands was good in this game. Then delinquents is what we're gonna be! Oh, I'm sorry, Dave. Is this getting too real for you? Wow, Feffery, I'm actually impressed. I have a cool mom. Would you like a bag for that? I would like a bag for your face. Uh, sorry. Ma'am, could you speak up? Uh, um, I won't let you, uh... Drink those drugs here. Aw, that's so nice of you, Tevros. You don't want us to get caught. Hey guys, let's go do drugs in the woods! That sounds much safer! The only high I need is a greeting from my friends. But yeah, I'll tag along. I don't approve, but I'll come along just to keep an eye on you guys. Blind joke. I don't give in to peer pressure. Do it. From just anybody. Well, I don't really feel like it, but I guess I'll come with you if you dweebs really want me to. Nah. <laughs> uh, uh, I... Great, let's go! Wait, this is a bad idea! Hey, Gamzy, we're gonna go do bad things in the woods, you wanna come? Hmm? Ah, uh, nah. I think I'm just gonna stay here all building the... Out of this sand castle. Um, I think I will stay here as well, because I do not feel well. Ugh, what a lame excuse. Can't you at least be cool about saying no to drugs? Um, I'm, uh, pretty sure I tried to do that and also stop you, but you twisted my words or said your words louder than mine, um, at the same time as me. Trying and not succeeding is called failing, genius. Please don't kick my robot legs. I don't feel anything, but it uh, still hurts. <sighs> Come on, crew! Just a little bit further! What are you up to, Circuit? I have no idea what you're talking about. These drugs taste a cloth a lot like root beer. Drugs brand root beer. Really a marketing strategy. 
Don't tell though, because the adorable childlike naivete is a live tweet gold mine. Oh. Yes, you thought I didn't know what your Earth drugs were, and it was endearing. Now that endearment has been transferred to my characters, and begrudging respect rushes in to fill the void it left. You thought you had one up on old Carcat, but really, I had one up on you. My one hand up your one ass. I am a fucking literary puppet master. You think and feel only and exactly what my art compels you to. This has been what you call a mindfuck, and it is a hallmark of incredibly good writing. Oh my god, shut the fuck up. <gasps> Holy shit. Well, that was easy to find. I guess I didn't need to use you guys as monster bait after all. What? This is it! The map to the Lake Pirate's treasure! The legend is real? Um, guys? Oh my god! Uh, oh my god. Hey there, hot stuff. I'm afraid our robot is sinking. Can't you help us too? Bail it out. Uh, oh my god. Then, at the mere sight of the enticing as hell bucket, young Tavros underwent a startling transformation. His super horny head split open at the alien boner seams and deployed his grody, trembling billow throbber. But that wasn't quite hot enough, so his glistening libido furls uncoiled. Okay, imagine seducing a huge brown banana, and then the banana says, Yes, please! It was like that. It was then and there that everyone with half a brain knew the raunchy interstellar fuck times were nigh. Shit just kept taking place, with the increasingly alluring catastrophe once passing for his torso. Like these wobbly hoses were coming out of things and flopping around, spraying heinous juice in every direction. People were turned on at first, but to be honest, that didn't last long. Nobody knew why they were even looking at this. Why are we even being forced to see this, they wondered. Why would anyone be- I don't know how troll production works, so I'm just gonna assume that's how it went down. You're not too far off. Shut up, I'm not finished. Ooh, snap me off a piece of that action! Nipita demanded lasciviously. Not on my watch, your radiant countered, sizing up Tavaros's undilating one-man circus of erotic meat surprises. People started losing track of whether they should be feeling turned on or disgusted, when one of his pulsing butt accordions made a squishing sound and removed any shadow of doubt. Sweet Bro and Hella Jeff suddenly felt a little giddy up in their onesies and decided they wanted in on the repugnant sexual francas. But as usual, they struggled with basic motor functions and started bumping into things. Both of their fat asses simultaneously crushed Gamzee's sandcastle, which unfortunately just threw a whole nother spicy meatball into Tavros Nitrum's heaping pile of erotic spaghetti. So naturally, 36 minutes of freestyle smut later. Hello. Hi. I'm a ghost. Yes? Aradia? I can't believe it's you! I'm dead. Y yes. Holy cart mackerel fish pun! You're the someone who died last summer! The camper with even stronger scrub love than Kanaya! Yes and yes. Although I'm slightly less enthusiastic about summer camp, now that I'm a ghost who is dead. I see you found my cool bones, and the- Treasure map? Yeah! Okay. Aradia, I- oh. I am sorry, Kanaya, but there is no time. You all need to leave these woods, if you do not want to also be ghosts. <laughs> Not so fast. I can't let you do that, buoys. Can't you? Not without incurring my friend's rancor. Or, I guess Ankor works as a fish pun there, too. Whatever. And where are your friends now? We could use someone like you at Camp Esperb, you know. Hmm. What were you even gonna do with that glow stick anyways? The boat ruse was a distraction. Uh, yeah. Thanks. Oh, too late. The monster's already here. 
Everybody, run! Ah! Oh gee, looks like a page is missing. Is not six pages. Wow. Oh my god, I can't believe they died. My phone's priceless batteries. I'm sorry, everybody. I should have told you about the danger you were all in. About Aradia getting eaten while looking for treasure. If any of you had gotten scared and left, there wouldn't have been enough campers to keep Camp Scrub open. The camp's already in the red. That's why Aradia, she... I wanted to protect the camp, like her. But Camp Scrub is nothing but the sum of its parts. And I almost got those parts eaten by a bear! I don't suppose it matters either way, what with Aridan defecting to Camp Spurb. And bro in such bad emotional shape, because I got tricked. And me losing the treasure map in the confusion. And Big Cow being used for god knows what evil porpoise. Camp Scrub's gonna be shut down for sure. Not if I can help it. I think that little skip ahead I did went well, don't you? Made for some emergent humor slash suspense with his Solex and his phone dying or whatever, so... I'm gonna fast forward again to the climax. Oh fuck no, you can't do that! I am a god of time, it is well within my power. You're ruining the pacing! I, Big Cal, am selling Camp s crop to Camp s -Bub for zero dollars. If I can't hack this bomb, Camp Scrub is gonna blow sky high. Wow, I can't wait to see what happens next. And also, never see what happened previously. That's it, bro. Cal's got a controlling interest in Camp Scrub. The sale's legal. Game over, bro. Game over. If you can't control yourself without Big Cal, then which one of you is the puppet? <gasps> I'm disappointed in you too, Equius. I don't remember how this happened. Hey guys! Hello. Aridin! Where's your sash and boy shorts, traitor? They know I gave me a uniform. They just... wanted me for my party. Uh... Specifically my gills. Once I recovered the secret treasure from the bottom of the lake, the Spurbs cast me aside. But when they said they could use a guy like me at Camp Suburb, they meant it. Hey, don't ignore me! What you already did doesn't matter, Aridan. What? Yes, it does! What matters is what you do now. Oh my god, Carcat. I don't think that, um, since you guys found the secret treasure, a sale for zero dollars is, uh, very fair. And, um, it is definitely not square. It takes one to no one, pal. I'm calling you a square. Ha ha ha. Look, we're buying your camp, so we don't have to share the lake or the treasure with you trolls. You're not getting a single doubloon, or whatever's actually in this cool-ass chest. But hey, you want to make this fight fair? Wrap off. You and me. Winner gets Big Cal. You don't have to do this, Tavros! Yes, Terezi, I do. If I can stand up to my enemies, then maybe someday... I'll be able to stand up to my friends. <laughs> okay, I need a new script. I can deal with this soda, but cut that line out. <laughs> Eat shit. You amateurs need some assistance? Some what? Sonic! We thought you left Camp Scrub for good! We did. Yeah, you skipped that scene. He left when he couldn't find an outlet to charge his phone. It was real dramatic, and kind of the heart and soul of the film. But really, who needs either of those things? I mean, you get by without them. Just like I thought. This is my ass. 
Your ass? No, smart ass. It's a programming language. Still death. I coded the master program they're using in this bomb. That joke only works if you're reading the script and pronouncing a thing wrong. How is that gonna work on film? How about shut the fuck up? There. Resetting my own code is no sweat. This bomb won't go off till something dies in its immediate vicinity. It just says... Tavros lays down some mind-blowing rhymes. Does it now? I check it. They then proceed to have one of the sickest and most one-sided rap-offs in Paradox Space history. And where do you think you're going with that? Ah, you caught me. It's no big deal now that Spurb's got the treasure, but yeah, I'm absconding with the map. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> you gonna stop me? No, just stating the facts. <laughs> Sniffed out the truth, huh? Well, good. Don't think for a second playing hero now would make you a good person, sis. Feeling like one isn't the same thing. But hey, if you're not stopping me, you're letting me go, so... There's a third option. I let you play hero. Fine, you win! Take your creepy puppet, it doesn't matter! Camp S. Grub and the treasure already belong to us suspurbs! You sure about that? Secret treasure. Gasp. Gasp. And the award for shittiest twist goes to... Your spine in three seconds if you finish that sentence! Now I'll buy both camps, and rule over them as Lake Pirate Queen. What a bro. OMG, Riskers, you're such a good person. Um, why didn't you say you had the treasure earlier? For the dramatic reveal, of course. Sigh. We had the map and they had the treasure all along? How could this get any worse? <laughs> <laughs> bro, my god! I warned you, bro. I warned you about bears. You did not just deploy my stairs joke like a fucking meme. He didn't even actually ever warn him about bears. Maybe you skipped that part, Dave. Maybe you skipped sweet Jeff's tragic backstory. Ma, mother, I... Dead. Bomb reactivated. Toad's gonna blow up. What? Club. Hmm. <laughs> Finally done with this motherfucking dope sand castle. Redeemed? Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's fine. Ooh. Never draw. No! Whoa, greasy lightning. I order you to stay right where you are. So, that... Nebita, I'm here. Atreus! You finally stood up for me! Meow, you're a sufficient height for me to do this! <laughs> Apex Predator. Well, I... Guess that resolves everything. So, that's really that, huh? I wonder what they're talking about. The counselors. Written apologies, oaths of fealty, figuring out how much land Camp Spur will cede to us. Typical unconditional surrender stuff, I'm sure. So, hey bros, I just sold Camp Scrub to Camp Spurb. What? <laughs> Yeah, I kind of realized that taking orders from a sinister and animate object for an extended period of time sort of disqualifies me from looking after children all on my brown. Also, the dead camper thing. I should probably be in jail. <laughs> Hi, Aradia. Hi. But hey, with both camp strengths and the treasure, we'll be able to make something even bigger than the sum of its parts. Camp Spurg. That's... but... what will happen to the Camp Scrub that... that I knew? That we fought for! Camp Scrub might end, Kanaya, but that doesn't mean it's gone. In here. Hmm. 
Just read. You've got a real big heart, Kanaya. Plenty of room for a silly old bro in his summer camp, long as you need him. And when you don't, well, know that moving on doesn't make the good times you had any less real. So what do you say, bro? How about we have one last campfire before- Oh my god, I can't take another grating word of this excruciatingly melodramatic word pile! Excuse me? Um, I'm just reading what's here, dude. It's in your handwriting, by which I mean gray, typed, and in all caps. Son of a... I thought I banned all future versions of myself from editing the script. Keep reading. I want to hear what this asshole has to say. Your whole script is embarrassing, purposeless wish fulfillment garbage. Solix didn't ditch you. Gamzee didn't flip out. Terezi and Briska found some bullshit compromise. Mequia stuck up for Nepeta. Tavro stuck up for himself. Eridan regretted betraying everyone and found true love. Kanaya got to preserve a legacy, even if it wasn't our races. Beffery didn't get a hole punched through her gut by a beam of holy light. Everybody got a happy fucking ending. Please. Aradia, though, she was so important to our story, and you killed her off before yours even started. And on top of that, you made it so Bearjack can presumably eat her again, now that he's similarly incorporeal. Fuck you. It just figures that the one friend we had who might actually already be happy became a miserable ghost of herself under Riora leadership. That's two universes ruined by your ineptitude, you cancerous trash lord. One last thing, and I hope this stings as much as I'm already certain it will. The most telling thing about this pathetic, empty gesture that is the script is that the car cat you wrote into your story where everything's better for everybody is nothing like you at all. Damn, son. I at least enjoyed your script ironically. You are literally your own worst critic. Don't give him any credit. He plagiarized his future self, same as I'm going to. And it's hard not to be persuasive when disagreeing creates an entire doomed offshoot of space-time. For now, though, I'll just say this. It might not be perfect, but I don't think it's so wrong to want to make one. An alternate universe where everyone's a little happier? I guess one good thing about Paradox Space is that, for us, that's literally impossible. It was fun rapping with my bro again, even if he was super out of character. And really just me doing a stupid voice and pretending I was two people rapping. Thanks, Carcat. So, hey, you want to go grab some grub? Careful, Dave. Vaguely edible. Yes, praising. Yeah, okay. <laughs>